Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time again with a little piece of hardware, a potentiometer. Yeah, we have one potentiometer inside our our uh, starter kit, and it looks like that. Our potentiometer. Look at this. This is it. It has three connectors, three legs. Okay, and well, the thing which is coming with this potentiometer is this little turning knob. You can put it in, yeah, back, yeah, then you can turn. Okay, can be turned. What is happening if you turn it? Yeah, what is happening if you turn it? Well, this potentiometer. Yeah, we have here the three connectors looking like that, one connector, second connector, and here is the third connector. And these two connectors, yeah, there is a resistor in between. Yeah? And the turning knob, this is connected to the third connector, and this is somehow touching this resistor, is dividing this resistor into two parts. Yeah? So if I draw it again, with a straight resistor. Yeah. Then here is one connector, here is one connector, and then there is somewhere a so-called slider with its connector. Yeah. The slider can slide left and right. Okay. So what it actually does, this has a resistance R, yeah. and in this case this is 10 kilo ohms. Yeah. And this thing here is dividing this whole R in one R1 and one R2. And depending on which, at which side, yeah, or this, at which position this slider is, this R1 is small or big, right now it's rather big, it's bigger than R2. Yeah? And what is now the big benefit of this, or what is happening there? If we apply here a voltage of 5 volt, yeah, then we are dividing this voltage into one U1 into one U2. Okay? So if here is plus 5 volt and here is ground, this would have the voltage U2. Okay? So here we have U2. And if we connect this to an analog input, we can, with the slider, we can select how, which part of the 5 volt we are using. Yeah? So we can, if we have it fully to the left, U2 is the full 5 volt. So we have 5 volt, if we slide it to the right in this case, yeah, it's getting smaller, smaller, smaller. If we are here, U2 is gone. Yeah, is zero volt. So here we have something between between zero and five volts. Yeah? That, that's it. Yeah? So a potentiometer can divide the voltage applied by the turn of a of a shaft. Yeah? Can select the output of the potentiometer. The potentiometer can be placed inside the breadboard. Yeah, you can also place it in the at the gap. There is only one issue: since the legs of this potentiometer here is a second one, since these legs are pretty broad, okay, they are not they are not very decent. Uh, they are not very. I mean, it's it look these little things are little. Yeah. So we usually have an issue with those with those spring-loaded things inside. Yeah? There's the spring-loaded things, yeah? which will, if you push something in, hold this in place. Yeah? However, if you push something big inside, then the spring-loaded thing will be torn apart. And if you then put something next to the it might you might have a cheeky contact, yeah. You might have a loose contact. So if we now placing, for instance, here 
Yeah? Then this might not be that good in contact. Yeah? There's a little, so there's a solution you can try to push it in in the same hole, but it's rather hard, but it's working. Okay? Then it's working more, more reliable. Yeah? If it's good for the, for the, <laughs> for the stuff, yeah? for the material, I don't know. But it's working much better. Good? Yeah. That's about potentiometers. Next time we are going to use this potentiometer. See what we can do about it if we read different voltages in. But before we also talk about analog inputs. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.